Today I want to talk about this concept which is discovering your purpose is the easy part, the hard part is living it. So if you don't know what your purpose is, you don't know what your path is, what your life is all about, it's very common to think that all you have to do is just figure out what it is that you're going to excel at that really matches up with your talents, pour all your energy into it and you'll be good to go. It'll be smooth sailings. But you quickly discover that knowing your purpose was actually the easy part. Now the real work begins, which is actually living it. So for example, the writer finally owns that she is a writer, only to discover how hard it is just to sit down in front of the computer each and every morning. Or the rock star finally lands the big record deal, but then quickly discovers you know, they have a drug problem or they're having drama between the band members and all these challenges pop up. So living our purpose is the hard part because we self-sabotage, we doubt ourselves, we second guess, and we start to actually really do the nitty gritty work that comes with being on our path. Myself, I became self-employed about seven years ago and hands down since then, the hard part was never getting the leads or doing the actual work, but it was rather being my own boss. And so it felt like it was a master class in self-discipline where I had to, you know, I quickly discovered just how many challenges I had around getting myself on track when it was all taken care of for me back in the past when I was in a job. A lot of people, they want to be their own boss until they actually, you know, have two months off in between jobs or on a break and they realize just how hard it is. Many people, they just, they're in their pajamas the whole time and no work gets done. So, it isn't just work that this applies to, it applies to anything to better ourselves, whether it's artistic or towards a healthier diet or a exercise routine. The hard part doesn't come in actually determining the right food diet or the right exercise regimen. The hard part comes in actually, of course, following it. But a lot of people, they forget that when it comes to the principle of purpose. So three big points I wanna leave you with here in this video is one, if you are stuck in the thinking that discovering your purpose is the hard part, you will make it hard. You'll make a mountain out of a molehill and you'll just be in this constant process of questioning and second guessing what it is, you know, not really getting anywhere. And once you realize that that's the easy part, discovering it and the hard part really waits for you afterwards, a lot of people, they get onto their path a lot quicker and they just basically say, oh yeah, this is my thing and they just start doing it and they get on with it. Second big concept I want to share with you is that there's a lot of value in knowing that you're going to be in for a challenge. So Stephen Pressfield calls it resistance, which is our own inner resistance towards our growth and our self-improvement. And it's all the ways that we distract ourselves, we, you know, second guess and sabotage ourselves. And so when we know that we're going to be attacked from within and without from all different angles, you become prepared for it. And so that when it comes, you're not completely flattened by it. A lot of people, they mistakenly think that when they are on their true path, it's going to be rosy and smooth sailings. And that, you know, they think that they're following their passion, they're following their path, it's all going to be good to go. And they are surprised when au contraire um, is completely opposite. And all the real challenges start waking up and coming at you type thing. So knowing it's coming is a very useful thing. Third big idea is that if you want growth, like I do and probably you do, know that it is found in this very struggle that awaits us. So the moment we step towards our greatness, we start stepping towards a bigger version of ourselves, that's when all of these insecurities pop up, all of these weaknesses in self-discipline or you know, our inability to handle pressure, it starts to arise. So a lot of our weaknesses are hidden in a comfortable life. So when you start to actually live your purpose and, you know, whether it's start a new company or start a new diet, whatever was lying dormant will suddenly come up. And that's what we want when we're growth oriented. We want to be able to recognize these and work through these things and transcend them in order to grow and evolve and become better versions of ourselves. So rather than having them hidden away and being more comfortable, we really want to wake them all up. And that's kind of the point and that's kind of the purpose. So that's it for this video. I hope you got value out of this. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any comments and we'll see you next time. Bye.